Hey guys, welcome back. So, when was the last time you took two years to build a puzzle? I can't remember a time I've ever taken two years to build a puzzle. This one is an exciting one. It's literally taken that long to get this video done for you guys. Without further ado, the Color Me Puzzle. So, no, some of you may be asking, it did not take me two years to build this puzzle. It took me a while to get the puzzle out of its box and start coloring it. The coloring took a good few months. I gotta say, it was probably like three months that I was coloring this thing in. If you've ever done an adult coloring book before, it's very similar in terms of concept. It's got all these wee little fancy details and stuff like that. So it does take a bit of time to put it together. Around the pieces, it could get a little interesting trying to shove the crayon in there and really get every crack and crevice. Maybe this is no CD thing. That might just be a me thing. I don't know. Um, so these Color Me puzzles are made by Eurographics. Graphics. I don't know how readily available they are anymore. I have a devil of a time trying to find them to bring them in because I think they're so cool. But basically, the concept is the puzzle arrives as an all-white puzzle. You build the puzzle and you literally color it in. So all the black lines and stuff are already there for you. You can be as creative as you want with it. And it does include a hanging kit after. So if you do want to glue and assemble this puzzle so that you can hang it up and see your beautiful creation, I think that's also really cool as well. So let's get into this one. I'll unbox it. You will be seeing the full colored version today. So I do first of all have a little photo montage for you of what the puzzle used to look like in its box. So you get to see the black and white pieces before they were all colored in and that kind of thing. I did make sure to take pictures of it assembled when it was before it was all colored in and a few progress pics. I do have to apologize though. I did make an unboxing video of the original puzzle before I did any coloring and unfortunately I have lost that footage. I do still have some pictures but I don't have that video. I'm so sorry you guys, I meant to do that. Nonetheless, I still have the cool unboxing of just the colorful version. So just imagine this, but without color. Um, without further ado, let's get into that. So here's what the puzzle started out like pretty much out of the box. I separated the border. You have to assemble the full image when it's blank, which is actually harder than it seems just because it really just is lines. Think like a crypt puzzle, but like with slightly more detail because you have lines to work with instead of just being all one solid color. But it's, it's basically the same thing. And then once it's assembled, you can pretty much start to color. Like I said, I pretty much always use pencil crayon in this type of thing. For some reason, it just seems slightly less permanent to me. I know it still is, but you know, hey. And there's my tester page. Does anyone else do this? I, I know what the colors are, but I have to like really know what they're gonna look like on a page. You know what I mean? I might be crazy. That's okay too. It's still fun. A little bit of a progress update with some of the flowers. I had some purple themes going on, these really cool tealy colored themes. I absolutely love certain little blue tones. And there's the tiger all done. The eyes turned out crazy. I can't believe how much they pop. The amount of detail that goes into a puzzle like this, it really is like an adult coloring book. It's just literally in a puzzle. So much fun and absolutely worth every penny. You really get your money's worth out of these puzzles. And now that we've used our imaginations for an unboxing when it was blank, here's an unboxing when it's colored. Uh, so as you guys can see, there's the box. On the back, they have different selections of different Color Me puzzles that they used to have. I hope they come available again soon because some of them look so fun. Okay, so you guys kind of saw from the pictures, but here's a close up of what this looks like in box now all colored in. You can see how much the colors pop. I'm impressed with how well it turned out for pencil crayons on a puzzle. And because in my head it's cheating if there are pieces already pre-stuck together, of course I had to tear them all apart. I was going to try to take the stuff out from the bottom to show you guys and then I just gave up and decided I would just dump it. That just seems like more fun. So this is the hanging kit that I was talking about. They send you with all of these sticky back thingies. So you stick this to the back of your puzzle and then you can just mount it on your wall basically. Pop it in a frame, put it on your wall. As you can see it's actually pretty basically just like sticker paper. You just separate the sticky back and stick it to the puzzle. I, I've considered using it for this one but it's still a fun puzzle to put together so I'm not really sure you guys the commitment issues involved with actually hanging a puzzle 
and uh, I've had regrets before. So here's a close up of one of the pieces. The only issue I have with color puzzles is you can kind of see the slight white border. That's where the pieces would connect on the puzzle. The amount of time it would take to unhook every single piece and try to fill that in, in my head, it just wasn't worth it. As much as it slightly bothered my OCD for that to exist like that, I'm like, no, 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 I'm not, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not that committed. It still looks nice when it's all put together. <laughs> Let's play a Where's Waldo. Does anyone else notice the random piece of the tiger's eye just kind of staring right at me as I sort pieces? So here's a fun fact for you guys. There's been such a delay in between when I finished coloring this puzzle to now building it for you guys. I did take it apart and rebuild it once I'd finished coloring it, just for funsies back in the day. Uh, it's almost like putting a new puzzle together right now. Because the image might be the same on the box, but all my colors are different. Yeah, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> I was putting some of the flowers together and I'm like, where was this again? What did I do? I'm like, these colors are real pretty, but I don't remember doing this at all. Hence why I kind of hesitate to put it on a wall or anything like that, because I know there might come a day when I'll be like, I want to put that together again. Oh, wait, it's kind of stuck together. And here we are at the final piece, arguably the most satisfying part of the whole puzzle. What do you guys think? I honestly can't believe for something that you color in on a puzzle, how amazing the colors pop on it. I would love to try one of these with markers one day. I might not be brave enough. I don't know. That's one of those ideas I like in my head. I like the thought of how marker might turn out, but pencil crayon feels safer. <laughs> It's amazing how you can't, like, I mean, I know I mentioned how it drove me crazy that I could see the little white cracks in between the pieces before, but when it's all said and done and assembled, you can't even hardly notice. It really is just the maker who notices that and it tickles the OCD a little. guys there you have it the completed color me puzzle from your graphics it took so long to color in but it was so much fun i think i like the ready yellowy flowers the best it's hard to say i don't know i'm really partial to the tiger as well if they still exist it's one of those things that i'm going to try to find and hunt down so we can bring back into the store because it was a ton of fun to do if you like coloring if you like puzzles this puzzle, like it's totally worth it. And they're only a little bit more expensive than a regular puzzle, believe it or not. Um, so bear in mind, I don't know what they would cost now with the with inflation and stuff like that, but a couple years ago, a regular puzzle is still going for around $20 around here, and this one was only $24.99. So really, I, that's pretty crazy value considering like a coloring book around here is essentially $10. Um, it's all in all, super good quality. They make the pieces extremely thick, as you saw, so that if they, you can't damage them almost. It's, it's like, I would say better quality almost than what they do for their normal puzzles. They definitely do have a different sheen to them, which I think is just like to make it easier to color in. I used pencil crayons. I thought about using markers, but that, that made me a little nervous. At least with pencil crayons in my head, I could erase it if I made a mistake or anything like that. Uh, I would definitely do one of these puzzles again. I really highly recommend them to you if you can get your hands on them, if they still exist kind of thing. Uh, I've seen other ones not made by Euro Graphics before, but I've never done one. I've only ever done one of theirs before. But other than that, highly recommend 
so much fun. I'm so glad I was finally able to do it for you guys. You know, only two years later. It's the two year puzzle. It's always gonna be a special one. Not even the big ones took that long. All right guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.